Quick and easy way to potentially find Alzheimer's disease on the Health Watch. New research suggests an eye test could one day help doctors diagnose the memory robbing disease. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here now with those details. This is really interesting yeah. research, you guys. You know, finding Alzheimer's disease can be tricky. Currently, it can only be confirmed with an autopsy. Doctors say diagnosing it early could eventually lead to better treatments. And this new research on vision and Alzheimer started with twin sisters. Ninety-seven year old Scott Hughes and her identical twin sister Virginia were always close. When Virginia started having trouble with her memory and thinking, Scott knew something wasn't right. Virginia was later diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. It was heartbreaking because she was so outgoing and loving. She wasn't gonna be who she had been before. And that is uh, it's tragic to see in a person you love. With one twin having Alzheimer's and the other healthy, researchers at Duke Eye Center studying the link between eye and brain health thought the sisters were a good case to examine. They took images of their eyes and discovered the twin with Alzheimer's disease had significantly decreased blood vessel density in the retina. That finding spurred a new study of more than 200 people. Cognitively healthy, normal individuals do not have these changes in the, in the retina. Researchers say the eyes may be a window to our brain health. These changes happening in the retina of the eye may actually mirror the blood vessel changes happening in the brain of individuals with Alzheimer's disease. Scott's sister, Virginia, passed away last year. Every night after dinner, we had a conversation. Sometimes it, she would be able to respond and sometimes she wouldn't, but she always knew that sister was calling. Scott says she's grateful she and her sister had a chance to contribute to research together. And next, researchers plan to study people who have the gene for Alzheimer's but don't have symptoms so they can see if they may be able to predict the development of the disease. This research is really doing some impressive stuff. It really yeah. is. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, Stephanie. Uh -huh. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.